Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to episode 10, Frostbank Endless Extreme. And we continue onwards, we just survived another storm with negative 120 degrees. And yeah, sick risk rate is actually <laughs> quite severe. We have 80 sick people right now, 82, uh, waiting for treatment. This is then about happening in my infirmaries. They're going to just pump them through, right? You're getting in there, a quick glance by the doctor, a quick antibiotics and out you go again, ready for the work. And that's just really how it goes there. Now, my hot houses continue their work. We have lots of workforce right now, by the way. So this is something we should consider as well. I'm going to actually stick with steam level three. Uh, with steam level three, even we can stockpile coal, right? And even then it's fine. Uh, what we need actually is though, since you look at that, we have a total coal consumption of 1,800 per day right now. Um, we cannot survive that long with that, right? So actually only three days if it comes to an emergency. So yeah, that's it. We need more resource depots. However, I would not like to do the small ones anymore. We are going for my next tag here. And this is going to be now the large resource depot. This just has way more storage capacity, right? And uh, let's go ahead and research that. This is my next attack now. This is going to be take only six hours with three workshops working right now. So this should be actually, yeah, it will be done today, really. So that's that. Uh, sickness rate is going down, as we can see. And I probably, I probably should start with the scouting again. We have the workforce. I don't even need to allocate. And yeah, we have the settlements, right? The shipwreck camps. We have another yellow flag over there that we can find now. So some of these points now uh, repeat themselves, of course, right? So some of them we've already seen couple of times my main goal of course is to find more survivors now so hopefully two waves of survivors that would be my goal for the uh, until the next storm and we could we could go into a bit of um settlement yeah settlement management there if it comes to that but really not super important right uh that we have because it just really gives you more resources right now um, and I don't think we need that, honestly. I mean, hmm, food-wise, how's it looking there? Looking pretty great on the food, actually, now that we got three industrial hothouses working at full capacity, right? So we have 125, 100, 140 uh, percent efficiency there even. Why is this one so high? I wonder, I wonder. Ah, all right, we have some sick people here, some sick people here, and this one is fully working, right? So there's no one sick in this hothouse there. Also, they're looking fantastic. I love these, these buildings there. All right, that's that. Um, we have no more steam cores. This is also something we really need to find. Let's reactivate also my sawmills. Um, both of them, right? So we have now a second sawmill up there that I would like to get cracking as well, full with workers then as well. So this is a lot of wood coming in now. And then we have also over there my other steelworks here that we can reactivate once more with the heaters. Of course, all of this will consume my coal then to 2,000 per day now. So it's actually closer in coal than you might think. So this is why I would probably, most likely, and look at that. Yeah, we're running out of coal here in the steam coal thumper. This is why I would actually like to activate my second coal thumper now, right? That will then make sure that we have enough coal pumping. And let's also give me another gathering post here and a gathering post number two mixed with uh, children and workers alike just to get we get this, this sorted out uh i might actually hmm, with these temperatures how's it looking there this one is really hot really hot this one is livable so the heater is actually doing a good job there we might we might give them a field kitchen though because we have the workforce for that and i can save on the i can really save on that steam hub there right we don't need the steam hub there only during storms most likely so i can save it and instead we are where is it come on give me that field kitchen here that we can that push in let's just see that we actually get most of them in here i think we need to right we have the field kitchen for these guys here this one here is still in the range of the steam hub, so that's fine. The steam hub we can actually keep running, and these guys here are getting now a field kitchen instead of the steam hub. A large resource depot has been researched. Perfect. This one has a huge amount of resource. However, it also costs quite a bit, right? Like three, four times even uh, than the normal one. So yeah, it's also huge. Uh, Space-wise, it's not a big deal. So let's start with it somewhere over here, right? Build one for now uh, for coal. Right, that's the 
the most important thing. Next up on the attack, the research is out. Um, we could continue with the steam wall drill here um, for my wood that we have. I think other than that, I will not go for range upgrades, as I think this is uh, a total waste of coal, really. Mm, Hunter, we also don't need. This one actually is completely finished, right? So food, we don't need anything there anymore. So yeah, let's continue just with that steam wall drill, just for the heck of it. And as you can see, yeah, we are pumping down those six again. And with that, we could actually turn off an, an infirmary if I want to. Um, also, another important thing is we don't need to do anything with coal here. No overdrive or something. But we're going with negative 80 again soon. So then I will probably need to ramp it up to level four. All right, the scouts have arrived. We just continue onwards now. Snow covered supplies, ruined observatory. Let's go for this first. Rock formation leads to side path that's the only thing really usually there's two points of interest though right cliffside path and then we have the yellow flag some resources there we already had this once let's go to the frozen lake all right now we get a really severe hazard and that is the generator congestion a combination of contaminated coal and high airborne ice intake has caused a congestion deep inside the generator until it clears the generator will use twice as much coal than usual this is severe, right? So with that, we'll have now a massive imbalance here uh, for this one. Let's just wait to kick in the coal there. Good kick in now. Tip from a believer. Thank you very much. Hmm, doesn't kick in. Malfunction. Um, I think only the generator consumes twice as much coal though, right? So with that, we're at 777. We should actually still have a positive supply then, yep. Even with this hazard enabled. Hmm. And I could even go to Steam Level 2 just to save up on more coal. It's still totally fine for those houses, right? They're still comfortable. Yeah, I think we're actually fine. Right? Yeah. Twice as much coal. It's just a generator, really. Uh, let's go for a large resource depot. Look at that. 4, uh, 5,400. Uh, additional coal supply that's huge mm, and i would also probably like to build another one right away for food right so that we get this started and let's have it just across the street there also for this one and just because i really don't like this gap here let's also have a smaller one in there as well we're going to need them anyway i'm still i don't know i'm still baffled that this increased coal consumption is not really visible there. Steam wall drill, there it is. Uh, advanced wall drill, uh, next up. It only costs 35 steel, by the way, so it's super cheap. What we can do is to, to start lowering uh, permanently that discontent there as well, because it's always climbing up, is reducing the, the work time for the workshops now, right? They don't need to work overtime anymore. It's not necessary. We have all the tech that we'll ever need uh, close by. There is this uh, field kitchen here. So this, the coal industry will also most likely stay on extended shift. It's just too important. But for other stuff, also like the, the wood, uh, we can actually go back to normal shifts for a while. I um, mean, just see how it goes, right? This will have a nice impact then. Cliffside path, a minor resources, cracked ice, frozen lake, nothing uh, except the ice obelisk. Yeah, no survivors yet. Harder than I thought it would be. Okay, they continue working now. We got actually a lot of engineers, right? 36 available. And then we're building the next one. This is for food. And this is then also for food because we really want to stockpile more of it. These are the most two important things, right? Coal and food. And don't underestimate that. The consumption or the production could easily shift into opposite directions, then you have a problem. Let's use my prayers there again. And hmm, coal and steel, nothing else to see. Empty cave. Yeah, well, it's an empty cave. Let's go for the snow hill. <laughs> or it could also be containing someone. It's very close, 10 hours, come on. Let's do this, let's risk it. Cracked ice, no dune, empty snow hut. Let's go for the snow dune. There is something actually, mountainside cave. Let's go for this, this sounds good. In caves, you can usually find survivors. Only one sick person. I love how this goes. 
but now we're going to negative 80 so now i will actually need to ramp up then my my steam level here to three let's just do this now right so that we don't take the biggest hit there yeah and this is this is a temperature we'll have to live with right and we are also going back to another negative 100 the next storm is already on the horizon that's just happening very quickly there right now um yeah with that it's at least livable so that is fine right and we're not even using the highest level there yet it's definitely reducing my margins though for coal and here we have the field kitchen let's just make sure that it actually operates so that these gathering posts have it warm without a steam hub right so we have a very good temperature there this is totally fine This cave could collapse at any moment. It's no wonder it hasn't been turned into a permanent shelter. We'll take what we can and leave. Yeah, fortunately, nothing here. So it is the empty snow hut via cracked ice. I'm building two more large resource depots. This time it's for steel and wood. There we have the advanced wall drill researched. Sawmill extension is actually a pretty nice one, right? With that, we can take in more wood before we have to relocate the sawmills and actually for this one here it'll help because with that we'll get a bit more wood in again it's running out of it Time to rest. Remember those who work overtime in your prayers. okay research outpost we do get some two steam cores again that's great we're going to need them snowy hill nothing buried hamlet is next that's actually pretty close and cracked ice to empty hut. I think I can actually yeah, go with the ceremonial service once more. Finally, buried hamlet has survivors. Um, yeah, we can escort them back home. That's actually then a very fast one. Otherwise, it would take four days again, right? And let's just use the scouts for this because this speeds it down to yeah, they will actually arrive within a day, um, and also definitely secure from the from the storm. So I think this is a better way, especially with all the scout upgrades. Uh, and then we might actually send that scout out again to find something else like the snow covered supplies. There, we still have time for that. That's one thing. Survivors so incoming. I'm really happy about that. And with the steam course, we could actually go for another food production when it comes to that, right? Mountain Watchtower, nothing here. Just some resources, another Dreadnought, and that's the end of it. Uh, yeah, let's go for the Dreadnought, just to see uh, what kind of supplies they would need. That's usually also something to consider. A huge crater over there. 16 hours, but that is super far outside. Do we risk the scouts? Yeah, let's risk the scouts. We have the time. And I would like to know what a huge crater does, actually, because I think I've never scouted one before. With the arrival of those guys, though, I will also need to expand my, my homes, right? So here we have already the steam hub working. So the steam hub now gets also a bunch of more houses than here uh, that we can have then in this surrounding area, just by the, the fighting arena and also my temple. Still plenty of, of space here. In this in this area there long hours of toil yeah sometimes they actually nag but it'll be fine really it'll be fine uh the cookhouse we could actually also stop now i think with working on the shift now nah, let's not do this now i really like the additional resources that are coming in with that so there's the next houses Heated then right away as well for those survivors. We're probably getting a lot, lot of sick out of that. Sawmill range extension. Look at that. <laughs> From 300 wood up to 2,900 again. And this one even has 3,000. So the range is huge now. That means we don't need to relocate uh, or yeah, relocate those sawmills all the time. right? And we can actually make this one real quick. With the temperature, I might actually also need to activate that fill kitchen for tomorrow then. So that uh, those sawmills are properly heated. This all actually also increases my food consumption, right? So every single, um, every single field kitchen that we use consumes food, and as you can see, uh, those here add up to uh, 28, 38 additional consumption per day. Those field kitchens. It's still fine though. It's not. It's not the end of the world. All right, that was a powerful upgrade. Um, I think that's it for now here. 
Uh, the factory is a no-go for me right now because it needs steam cores. We just don't have them for this. We cannot spare them. The same goes actually with the coal mine, but we at some point will have to move into coal mining. So we could also start this right now. That's still a good tack to, to branch into that. Getting really busy in my quest. <laughs> quest lock there. Getting all these relics in. And there's a relic to acquire here. And with 100 wood and 50 steel, we can explore it safely. So this is once again a Victoria class dreadnought. And yeah, let's explore it safely. And our scouts took the time and effort to explore the wreck safely. And they do have now, I think a relic. Yes, they have a relic that comes back home. That's our first one. This is why we need a lot of wood and steel still, right? If we want to, if we want to get those relics then going. The survivors arrive. Only five of them are sick, and with that we push to 314. Uh, those scouts, you could move out again, right? Yeah, via the rock gate. I would still like to, to explore as much as possible. Even though within two days we have the storm. It'd be risky. Huge crater uh, built to disassemble, but we managed to open it. It might have been left because of its weight. Someone was probably planning to come back for it. Um, yeah, and we get some steam cores. That's okay. And with that, I think we are actually going to move those scouts back home now, too. Because that storm is getting close. Alright, coal is piling up again. That's great. Thanks to the second steel comp uh, steam coal thumper. So I think we might actually have another gathering post in here. Alright, gathering things. So, yeah, close to the, the shrine. And we can then have another one even here as well. All right, temperature increase for once before the storm hits. And we're going to see another 120 degrees negative. And hope goes down because the storm is coming. So this is also a challenge ongoing, that hope loss for every storm that you need to fight. Um, if it reaches zero, then we have the ultimatum again. It's just a bit annoying there overall. But with enough houses of prayer everywhere, we should be golden really. Right, rock gate, two snow covered supplies, 13 hours. This will be close. I'm going to risk it. We have enough workforce. And the scouts with the relics come in with St. Edward's uh, crown. St. Edward's crown. Uh, we also get some two steam cores out of this here, so that's quite a, a few resources there. And with that, we can now start building then our archives, right? So this is actually a pretty big building. Um, that we, we we can store the relics in. So this is going to be some history lessons then as well. Uh, let's activate the next gathering post. That we pump it on the coal, right? We we definitely want to increase that margin there still. All right, they've arrived. Yeah, there's just some raw food here, and I'm not going to venture further outside. So this these scouts also come back now. 13 hours. That's okay. Um, and the next scouts are in, so we can dispend them. And the next ones are coming in now too. There they are, with more steam cores again. And we can also dispend them. And it's day 52. With that, the next storm is upon us. And negative 100 again. Let's increase steam level 4 once more. Pump it out there that those houses have it at least chilly. That's all we can do, really. Um, we have enough steam cores, so I would actually like to go ahead and build me another infirmary. Um, here is my next block, then. I I don't know. The beacon? We will dismantle the beacon now, because it is in the way, right? So we can easily do this. Let's, by the way, also deactivate uh, those. We don't need that production running. And just for now, I will also then activate the steam hub here now. So that we have heating for these here. Right, so it's actually really warm. <laughs> really warm in those gathering posts. But don't forget, there's another uh, drop coming in. This, of course, raises then... Look at that. That steam hub. Crazy stuff. Steam hubs consume a lot of coal. Still, it's worth it. 
Uh, yep, the industrial hothouses. I don't know we, if we need, really need to turn it off. Um, I just really like to, to optimize this. Now, we need a new beacon. Let's place it as far away as possible. I do not want to relocate that once more. All the way outside. And with that, we can actually continue now the construction then of a new district in this area. And that's going to be pretty important for us. Um, let's just see, space-wise. Yeah, we can actually have two ro rows of houses here, right? And then a steam hub somewhere here. That is then tending to this block there. And it's just behind my storage depot, which is also fine. Let's go up all the way to the House of Prayer. Another House of Prayer might then be needed here too. We'll just see. Then we have another infirmary. That I would like to have then here. So we have now... I think this is the last infirmary for, for a long time. And... Then we can just go ahead and bump now more buildings than in here. Why right, so once this is finished. This is just the new district then that we're planning ahead now. It will definitely also need then a fighting arena once more to keep people happy. Somewhere over there. Right. And yeah. House of Prayer we have close by anyway. And the storm is the perfect time for this. Lots of people don't have work right now. So... <laughs> 100 degrees negative is perfect to to build more houses then so we are we're going to stay uh, keep it offline though for now right so i just want to continue building it there we also have then the fighting arena and with the steam course i would then like to go ahead and build me another industrial hothouse you might call me crazy on this but um i want to move away from soup right of course that would be another goal because this is just something that constantly increases this content and moving away from soup will do drastically increase then also my food consumption. And I want to continue stockpiling food though. So we need to we need to have another hothouse then ready for this. Uh, steam coal mine. So we continue with the researching there into advanced coal mine. And after that also coal mining optimization. Next day the hazard is gone. So at least there is this uh, change again. Yeah, so we are down to 460 per day for the generators. It was only the generator. It was not including the steam hubs and heaters. This would have broken us probably, um, but that was okay. So we have a nice surplus there again. Let's deactivate the overdrive for the daytime. And 120 negative once more. So it is also now really cold in those houses. Once again, we will need to use the overdrive tend to make everything work. It's at least chilly during the gathering post, and it's not getting worse than that. Right, so this is as cold as it gets. And even then, we have really nice temperatures there for my coal industry. And there we also have the advanced wall drill now, and the steam coal, and the advanced steam coal, uh, coal mines then. Yeah, second night, overdrive is working as we can see. Those infirmaries are not enough anymore. With 300 people, we need more. Um, so this one here, we would need to activate then soon. Let's just let the storm run out. And with that, we can also turn it down on the overdrive and the steam level once more. We can activate now the second infirmary with the right amount of heating. We can, yeah, treat now up to 80 people at the same time. Research continues, production continues, and we continue onwards in the next episode with more research, searching, scouting especially. I want to get more relics. And we might actually also start the first settlement. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>